what's up guys this is Ved and today we are going to learn about the wget actually uh, if you are on a linux machine maybe they have chances that there is wget pre-installed and if it's not you can install it uh, by the sudo apt get install wget since it's pre-installed in my system so this command gonna do nothing at all because it's already installed okay uh, there is a uh, update <laughs> I didn't know so let's update our wget first okay so actually what you can do with the wget is uh, you can create a mirror of uh, entire website for offline browsing you can download uh, files from any website from both protocols HTTP HTTPS even from FTP and uh, if you want to uh, make your download recursive if you want to make your download I mean you want to give speed limits you can also give the speed limits to your download okay but in this video we are going to learn only two hacks the first one is how to make mirror of a website and the second one is uh, how you can download uh, a single file from the internet or any website okay so first of all uh, we have to type in wget after that the option minus m m stands for mirror okay and after that uh, the url okay like i am going to if i want to make a website make a local copy of this website uh, actually it's a bootstrap styling guide so i have to copy the url first like uh, here it is okay so the url is here and after that i have to paste that url and uh, what it gonna do is and and i am going to press enter and it will uh, copy the entire website into my home directory and once again if you want the offline copy of any website if you are mirroring a website uh, you can do it uh, you can make the entire copy in a separate folder like uh, let me navigate to my desktop and there I'm going to create a new directory uh, 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 like uh, wget test okay so let's navigate to that uh, directory and now I am going to run that command the mirror one and the whole copy of uh, I mean the whole mirror of that website is gonna be in that separate folder not in my home folder okay so once again let's paste the url and i'm going to hit enter and it will download the entire copy of this website for offline browsing okay let's see so as you can see it's easy very easy to mirror any website you want okay so uh, it's downloaded now let's see what we have in our wget test folder here the copy of uh, or, or the mirror of the website uh, will be in the folder and the name of the folder uh, will uh, the name of the URL like uh, I mirrored the website of uh, this one monolinea.com so the folder name is gonna be www.monolinea.com so let's see let's navigate to that uh, fo folder and see what we have there okay sorry <laughs> a wrong command so in there there is a folder projects okay so as you can see that uh, it's nothing but the th things uh, after slash like as you can see the website name and after that the folder name project and after that the folder name style guide okay so this is a structure uh, in which wget gonna mirror any website so once again uh, let's as you can see there are three files in dash.html js and css so let's open up our index.html so now it's gonna open the local copy of my website into my 
browser so uh, as you can see if you have uh, uh, if you don't have an internet connection or if your internet is broken and, and you want to run a good tutorial or something from any website you can always make a copy or make a mirror of that website uh, from any cyber cafe or uh, from any friend's computer and read that uh, entire article offline at your home so this one was the first use of uh, wget and what if we uh, want to um, download a single file from the internet let's see uh, like I'm want to download the mm, uh, 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 sublime test 2 so I'm opening the sublime test 2 website and there is a direct link of the file like here you can see if I'm hovering it download for Linux you can see at the uh, bottom left of the screen that is a direct link I am going to copy it okay and what I'm going to do is let's see I'm uh, moving to my wget test folder once again and uh, the name of our test folder was wget test and I'm going to make a separate folder in there mk directory that's mean make directory and the name of the folder gonna be something like sub sublime okay let's navigate to my fo our folder sublime and now I'm going to event this command I have to do nothing but I have to type wget and after that the direct link okay and now I'm going to and it will download the file from that uh, website so as you can see it's sending a request to that website and waiting for the response sorry for my internet again it's down today so mm, as you can see the download is started and it will save into like uh, let me show you wget test and here is the here is the uh, mirror of uh, bootstrap styling guide and the sublime is going to uh, going to be here okay as you can see so th uh, this is how you can use the wget in different manners and uh, in future i will make some more video on wget so that you can learn uh, uh, deeply about the uh, wget actually it's a great tool okay so thank you for watching and if there is any problem or suggestions please comment it below and thank you for watching once again this is Ved. bye please subscribe